All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy Journalist, and on this one, it is a beautiful somber day. We are at the end of August D Day. After this, I'll actually be able to officially do the reaction to his, I believe it's day three in Japan. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. But I'll be sitting down tomorrow morning, watching that concert, doing a reaction. And if the votes don't change, we're not waiting for subtitles. The man's going to be able to watch the music how i prefer to watch the music like when i first started doing korean reactions i think i understand what a motherfucker is saying based off of how they feel in their music without me knowing the language i remember when i first started doing these reactions y'all was not having it <laughs> y'all was not having it even though i was more correct than i was wrong you guys wanted me to really see that there was a specialness not just in bts's music but just in the Korean language and the things that they have to say that it wasn't enough to just kind of like catch the vibe but I get to do that tomorrow for the concert so I'm very happy uh that said though this is the life goes on August D version not the BTS version that I already did a reaction to uh so yeah we have this one did I do a reaction to it I seen a video or something I don't know I don't remember I seen the other video I was like oh, I've seen that but that's what this is. Thank you all for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. And let's get into this. Also, D-Day, until I see Next Man uploaded to, to YouTube, I'm not even playing with it. And then I still might not upload it to YouTube because I'm man's playing with these strikes right now. <laughs> these folks is not playing with me. So, uh, yeah, it's got to go Patreon right now because YouTube is not playing with me. They are not playing. So, yeah, that's it. Now let's get into this. to this point this doesn't sound like it's it's like to army it sounds like it's to the boys that's in the group this time and it's just kind of like the oh, what's that one song uh, what is the name of that song where the niggas talk about fucking breaking up but they didn't decide to break up i can't remember the name of that song but it, it reminds me of that type of sentiment of like I'm writing this with the thought of the people that I work with that I have become so close to that I don't want to no longer be close to, but then, like, how life happens. Life goes on. Like, I guess that was also probably one of the hardest things for me to kind of deal with, like, with the tragedy I've dealt with in life, with just, like, bonding with people and not wanting those bonds to, like, break or to change in the ways that they currently are. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, what you go through. Tomorrow's happening and ain't shit gonna change that. So whatever tragedy you have the day before, life's gonna go on. So like at least this is how I'm I'm interpreting this record so far. It's just like the 
futile nature of fighting against the tide of life changing is very hard and it's very sad to see when the tide changes and the people that you love and care about kind of wash away with the tide because you no longer have some of those people in your life and it really sucks sometimes second half was more so at least i'm reading it from the lyrics that i do have obviously the translation is no good I'm sorry but uh from reading it it's almost like he's speaking even to more like his younger self and like how like we have to as adults and just older people that just kind of mature and just think about life a little bit more we have to figure out a way to like square the losses of our lives or like the pain that we've had so like when he said like that 10 years like the same place like i've had a lot of pain a lot of pain and success or whatever from this place is kind of just like him reminiscing over like coming out of the trenches with big hitting that and then like all the things that kind of proceed after but not directly talking about each individual ones just kind of like those those used to be like my current reality. Those were my days, my exact present. But now and eventually, all these things that I'm thinking about in this song or in my heart, they'll eventually just become memories. Moments of the past that you think about that you kind of just go over. And that's kind of how I read the second verse. Life goes on, life goes on. Is that the song now? Oh, yeah, it's the song. All right. So, yeah, life goes on. A boy is not wrong. He is not wrong. Life does go on. That shit is not stopping for you. I don't care who you are in this world. The world do not revolve around you. The The fact that we do at some point in our lives think that the world revolves around us is one of the most arrogant things i think humans can do i'm one of those people i still even in this day and time even though i'm saying this feel like the world revolves around me however that's just me and i also have learned better that the world don't revolve around me because certain shit that i've been through i'm like oh yeah the world gonna stop world don't even know what's fucking happened to me. The world don't care. Life goes on. It doesn't matter. And it's not just the world. It's people's lives. Because the people that take the time out of their life to console you or deal with you or help you with whatever your problems are, they are taking a considerate effort to show you how much they care about you. But at the end of the day, if your shit takes too long, most, if not all people, are going to tell you to go fuck off. I've got my own shit going on. There's like this meme going on where this dude's interviewing this one white guy with long hair, and he's just like, ah, oh, the dude's just walking past us like he can't tell that we're filming. Like, that's rude of him. And then the dude that's getting interviewed is like, actually, don't contribute uh, what you, don't contribute something to malice which you can contribute to arrogance because everybody has like their own lives going on like whatever you think you have going on in your life that person that you're talking about has the exact same thing going on in their life but we don't know how everybody else's lives are individually because we're all living our own and we're all caught up in our own worlds so it's just best to just kind of not harbor any ill feelings to things that you would consider to be or perceive as something malicious as just somebody just being arrogant stupid or just short-sighted it's a lot easier for you to kind of just move through life this way too because then you don't have to worry about 
people just being dickheads all the time. Just like, oh, he did this because he hates me, like directly. And it's more so like, that's just this, how this person is. Like, that's just it. And I've had to do this with a couple of the homies because I'm just like, why is he acting like this? And then you just be like, ah, oh, he just does this to everybody. And then it, it's, does it make it easier? Sure. But does it make it right? No. And that's why I still snap on niggas because I don't give a fuck if you do it to everybody at all. I'll be the last motherfucker you do it to because you're not going to just keep acting like this with me or I just won't fuck with you. That's just what it is. But that's just me as well. That said, though, that's the end of this one. You guys let me know what you think about Life Goes On. Uh, thank you for joining me. Please do hit that like, subscribe, Patreons in the description. Also, I do know that this is the original hook from the Life Goes On, but the BTS boys did not pick his hook for this one, so he repurposed it for his album. Shout out to the homie that gave me the gym in the comment section. I'm sorry I'm terrible with names, but I remember you telling me this, so maybe if you watch the whole video and you get to this part of the video, you know that I know that, so you don't have to leave that comment. That said, I'm out of here. You guys have a beautiful day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.